Hey y'all, between the cold weather and the rain, I finally found a great time to get out and go to Goodwill. So today my partner in crime and I will be thrifting in Sandy Springs, Georgia, and all orange tags are 50% off. So let's get in there and see what we can find and scope out some good stuff to resell on Poshmark and eBay. As usual, the shoes are right in the front, so I thought that's a decent place for us to begin. Although I'm trying to make an asserted effort not to buy shoes and clothes. I can't go thrifting without seeing what they have. I love animal prints and I could totally appreciate that this store categorizes their shoes and puts like prints and colors together. Typically, Goodwill shoe racks are a hot mess, but I'll tell you what, the prices definitely reflect that extra effort from the employees. And my stores that are closer to me are significantly cheaper, and I am happy to do a little extra digging for some great stuff if it means that I get to save on cost. Nevertheless, decided to pick up these cool yellow clogs. They're vintage, funky, and they say size eight, but they run very big. They had a pretty nice selection of boots right now, but the weather is already starting to change where I live, so I decided that this isn't something that I wanted to accumulate in my inventory right now. These were bootleg Birkenstocks, and then these right here were pretty cool, but they were bootleg Nikes. Not really feeling lucky right now. The store is not giving me good vibes so far. And now we got a pair of bootleg Crocs. What's happening here? I'm loving these boots. Love the texture of the interior. Another pair of boots right here that have a similar texture, but the brands are just not high end enough to make me money. These black combat boots are everything, but we weren't feeling it. Look at that face. He wanted to move it to the back. So we did. We went over to the furniture and found these awesome rocking chairs. This choo-choo train theme chair was so cute. It reminds me of a meme that I just saw on Instagram. How many chugga chuggas come before choo-choo? I say six, you can fight me in the comments. Yikes. This houndstooth chair is a vibe. It's given me 1970s Santa Claus. This wooden phone table reminds me of my grandparents' house growing up, it was beautiful. Over to the textiles and this fabric is bizarro. Mermaid unicorns? <laughs> no thanks. But then this was peeking at me and I almost fell over. Look how adorable this handmade blankie is. It's screaming 80s vintage vibes. And I swear that I had a little doll that matched this growing up as a child. I think she was called Lolly Dolly. Do you know who she is? Oh my God, this is super nostalgic for me right now. Anyways, this blanket is adorable and it was half off. I got it for $1.50 and it's in great condition. Thrift tip, if you want to or do resell on eBay, these are a great flip. Vintage sewing patterns are in high demand online and if you can get them for a good price, they typically sell pretty quickly for about 10 to $15. I like to buy them for 10 cents each at Value Village. So aisle one of the glassware and hard goods and I am totally unimpressed. This is cool though. This store better offer me some wow factor because right now I feel we are on a major struggle bus. But because I'm doing a voiceover and I've already finished this thrift trip, I know that you guys have some great stuff in store for this video. <laughs> so stay tuned as I build to the climax. This vase was gorgeous. It felt like junk and definitely wasn't worth $5.09. Every thrift trip, I typically find some variation of Jesus and Pals, and this was a beautiful nativity set. I wish weird limited edition plates were of value online. I hope that one day they make a comeback because if they were, I would be rich by now. I see them a dime a dozen at the thrift store, and some of them I find absolutely amazing. This is a plastic faux candle. I'm not interested. I like the real deal. I love scents in my house. I just got a Pura. Does anyone know about Pura? I'm obsessed. This was interesting to me because a lot of people have spiritual significance to cardinals and the fact that it was in the box and in perfect condition, I thought maybe it was worth it, but I decided to pass because it was big. More weird limited edition plates. Look at the graphics on these bad boys. These definitely caught my attention for two reasons. One, because they're weird. Two, because there's cats and anything with cats typically sells very well for me online. And these definitely were weird and awesome. They all had their certificates of authenticity. It's hard for you to see the graphics because they're wrapped. So I tried my best here with these videos for $5 each. It just wasn't worth it for me. 
There were a few that I probably should have grabbed because they were just spectacular, but I left them all behind and I hope that someone who really loves cats and could appreciate these in their home actually purchases them because they're phenomenal. This was really cute. It's by the bake shop. It's a Christmas scene mixing bowl. This scene is about $15 on eBay and it's very heavy, so I decided to pass. But some older prints by this company sell for about $40 online. I just thought that he had a sweet face and this little dish was so charming. If the season wasn't a year from now, I probably would have grabbed this, but it's just not in high demand. And here comes the wow factor. This Murano glass jaw dropper is an absolute oh, so stunner. Happy. It is blue with green trim and flawless. For $9.09. .09. If I got nothing else the rest of the day, I was happy with just this. I was super fired up. But then I found this. A gorgeous anthropology vase for $5.09. This bad boy easily retails for $75 plus. With some green florals in it, I think this will be breathtaking. And at this point I was trying to be selective, but I did like the texture of this vase also. I thought it was really pretty and it was only three bucks and change. Random, I know, but I thought this was a fun, cool box of vintage staples. The box is really neat to me. I'd probably put something different in it. So I'd never seen these before and now I see them quite often at the thrift store. These candle houses are really cute. I bought one called the Reindeer Retreat last Christmas and it's posted on eBay and didn't sell yet. This one I would have bought, but it's missing pieces. I love finding old kitchenware. There's something about it that's just cool to me. Free red cups from Starbucks that Goodwill's trying to make profit on. I could appreciate the hustle. I didn't get video of it, but they were also trying to sell a pack of free USPS priority boxes. Definitely a recognizable print from a mile away. These tumblers sell really well for me, but it was missing a straw. It's Lily Pulitzer, and I would have grabbed that if it wasn't missing a piece. I love the vibe of these retro salt and pepper shakers, the wood, the glass, and the graphic on the side. A lot of people collect salt and pepper shakers, and these were certainly unique. It says policeman graphic on the side with Nassau Bahamas, so I snagged those. I was so excited to find this beauty. Why are you here? And then I realized when I got home why it was there. The interior plastic on the rim has a defect and the lid doesn't screw on all the way. Bummer. There were a whole bunch of porcelain figurines and precious moments. Do people still collect precious moments? I know that they used to be pretty collectible. Not sure what this guy was. I think it's a whale of some sort. Don't know if he has a purpose. It's a project piece, it was pretty cool. Ray Dunn has a cult following. I am not a fan and actually donated a ton of her stuff. I really liked this I Heart New York purple mug. Just thought that was kind of funky. And the shape and the font of this K mug, I probably should have gotten that, I like it. Browsing around to see what else there is. And look at this little face. If it was in a little better condition, I probably would have picked it up because she's too cute. Llamas were definitely having their moment, but I think that is passe. I need to clean this guy up a bit, but it is a plant holder and it is metal and it is a dog. So this is a big win for $3.09. Look really quickly, I found a Yeti and I was super bummed because I screwed up on my footage, which I happen to do more than I'd like to admit. My camera was on when I thought it was off and when I thought it was on, it was actually off. So even more mad when I found another Yeti. Look really quickly again, but I'll share better footage in my haul video to follow. Found this Starbucks tumbler with some wear, but I love the handle on the side. I've been looking for some cute deep bowls to add to my personal collection, and I thought these were perfect. Again, this Goodwill was super shady because when I got home with them, I realized they were broken, individually priced inside for much cheaper than the bundled price. And the bundled price said set of four, and there were only three. I was pretty pissed. I don't think that's right. Even though you couldn't tell from that face. <laughs> My best friend loves sugar skulls, and anytime I see them, I always think of her. Whenever I find unique ones like this, especially for a dollar and nine cents, it's typically a no brainer, pun intended, and I grab them. Look at these cute faces. So I picked that up for Jessica. Her and I are going thrifting next week to one of my favorite thrift stores. It's the Costco of thrift stores, it's a three story, humongo thrifting warehouse and make sure you come back to check out that video because it is going to be amazing. I found some more interesting Christmas pieces. This is the best time to source it. I know I've mentioned it before, 
But if you're on the hunt for anything for the holidays, this is the best time of the year to get to the thrift store to pick some up. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it's some sort of shade. It's a capi shell and it was beautiful. I was super fired up to find this Cutco knife block. Bucket list item. If you're a reseller, make sure that Cutco is on your be on the lookout bolo list because Cutco is so expensive and resells for so well. I got this for $1.09. It's missing one of the rubber feet. I ended up popping all of them off and it's perfect. I don't keep stuff like this in my kitchen anymore because it's just too bulky, but I love salad spinners and I love the color. How fun are these? Oh my God. Probably everyone's favorite Guardian of the Galaxy, Groot. And there's four of them, and they're all making different hand gestures, and they're plant holders. I took them all for $1.69 each. Elmo is one of the best reselling plush dolls from the Sesame Street gang, and I look at them every time I see them at the thrift store. This one was $1.11. It had a rubber head, and I just wasn't feeling it, so I left that guy behind. A fortune telling green M&M dispenser in the box. Oh my God, yes. I found this really interesting leather bound book. It's a vintage school days journal to capture all your memories of growing up and it's never been used and it had a lot of charm. So I bought it for a dollar. Y'all already know how I feel about these vintage garment bags. I've sold quite a few of these floral luggage pieces for a significant amount of money. I didn't want another one to add to my inventory, so I passed on this, but I love those and sell them for a lot. This Disney bag is so adorable. It needs a good little wash, and I'm going to spray it and clean it, and it will be perfection. I like that glittery Victoria's Secret bag, and I also like that woody Toy Story bag too. Anything Victoria's Secret is usually a very quick hot seller for me, from lingerie to sweats to totes to anything Victoria's Secret. Just a quick flip. Here's another one. And another quick tip for resellers, even if you get free bags from Victoria's Secret with purchase, those sell online for a lot of money too. Digging through the laptop bags and the rest of the luggage to see if there's anything here that's hidden away and I need to take home with me. I'm not really one to pick up board games that are open and beaten up, but Star Wars Monopoly is definitely up for consideration. After a super quick dig through the box, I don't know that it has all the pieces, but it looked like it had the majority of it, so I ended up buying it. I was seriously considering buying this for the summertime. I'm channeling my inner summer girl right now. I'm ready to be on a beach. Let's go. I feel like every Goodwill store has their random junk aisle. And that is the row that we're on from diapers to stationery to empty boxes to cuidado yellow tape. Here we are. You want it, you got it. And then of course you have your random gems like this racquetball racket with two blue balls set in a case for $3.09. And it sells on eBay for $50 plus. As always, I manifest my thrift finds. And if you saw my TJ Maxx video, I bought these for baby. And I said I'm going to use it for my dog's paws for $2 each. More stuff I've manifested is shoe organization. I just built one of these. But this piece of junk for $4.09, definitely not worth it. Even though it's brand new, hopefully someone else could use that. Even though this is from my generation, I was never into friends. This is so cute. You're supposed to deliver it to some kid with a bunch of cute little goodies in it. I was trying to find a different way that I can utilize it and I couldn't think of anything, so I left it, but I just thought that he was so adorable. These made me laugh. I love the Fred line of satire home goods. Unfortunately, I already have my own muffin top, so I'm not looking for any more. <laughs> Christmas was really rough on me. I love vintage fabrics and this classic Christmas candy cane print was really lovely. Fortunately, I just don't have anything to use it for. I just found one of these at the last thrift store I was at. Bunch of junk in here. I think I'm done with the junk row, so let's start making our way towards the front. How do you like these faux sachis? 
Super couture, eh? <laughs> it still blows my mind how Goodwill gets away time and time again with selling knockoff items. And if any other reseller sold stuff, they'd get busted immediately. Grr. Anyways, just scoping out the clothes as I make my way back to the register. I knew that I didn't want to shop for clothes today, but because I don't make my way out to this thrift store much, I'm just going to see if there's anything worth my while and i do really like this top for myself a couple of the men's shirts had really fun prints but the brands were no big name that i knew of and because the prints were a little wild for this time of the year i didn't want to hang on to them till the summertime against the wall next to the men's shirts were the handbags so a quick perusal through those i do like that woven chaps bag this one was in bad condition that one's cute dirty and nothing else that was absolutely spectacular this one was another knockoff 8.99 horrible handle gonna keep it moving no bags for this girl today as you know the gap is one of my favorite brands it's durable and classic and i love camo this one is a little too wild for me but it was really cute this is oscar de la renta it's a men's sweater it was beautiful, but it was a little too worn. This is a really beautiful Vineyard Vine sweater, size large for $6 and change. Purple was the hot color today, because right after that I found this gorgeous purple corduroy blazer that was a must have. In hindsight, I wish I would have grabbed this. It did have spots and stains all over it that I probably could have cleaned up, but I left it behind. I do like the vintage vibe of it. It's very cool. And if you take nothing else from this video, take this. This is the note I want to leave on. A little more kindness and a little less judgment. That wraps it up for today's thrift trip. I hope you had fun and I hope you're as excited as I am to get home to see everything that I got. It's a beautiful day here in Atlanta. Look at that sky. So much to be grateful for. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.